Yeah, I think I listened to a bit of the first one, and then the second one kind of starts where you go, "We've not been recording." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Okay, yeah." <laughs> um, I started listening to them, and then I thought, "Okay, I'm going to stop listening to them." I think um, most people, that's most people's approach. I think because yeah, I think that the, the the guy I was listening to who did the second episode, we found like we might have a, quite a similar experience of this although it will be a little bit different but yeah i think um yeah so i just thought right let's just forget it um i've That's not I've followed your your lead and not done any research so names faces I'm not going I'll to. Try and get I, 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 don't, I don't do any so i don't see why anyone else should cheat that's what that's my uh that's my thought on the whole process now um the thing is um for the people who want on this i want them to be like a a, a spectrum of different knowledge of uh of prisoner, so I yeah. want some people who know everything, right down to people who know nothing. In fact, um, in the first series, I had uh, Gavon who actively hates the show. Oh, really? So, yeah, he 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 hates it. <laughs> Weirdly, that's the longest episode as well. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, yeah, you can guess. I mean, you can guess how that conversation is going. I think. Yeah, I, I've got a bit of a. Stop when I first started watching it was kind of you know this is rubbish um and that's because oh you know I think I was young so I mean I, I'm I think it, I probably would have been a kid and I would have been watching it with my mum and um I just didn't get into it and then years later um when I was about 18 um we started watching it again um probably the last like I don't know probably the last like couple of years of it um yeah I mean, it's, it's, still, it's, it's still gone going forever on. didn't it yeah and you could uh the good thing about it was none of the stories were that long running so you could actually dive out and then dive back in again and uh you know within yeah. a couple of episodes you're up to speed with everything I think I, I'd, I'd struggle to remember that many storylines I remember characters a lot better um, yeah. But I think that's because I didn't watch it like, religiously when it first came out in those first few years. What um, um, what, what ITV region were you first watching? So I'm Manchester, from? Granada. Granada. Uh, so, so, yeah. So, so I was watching Granada and Central simultaneously because I was uh, I used to pick up both, and they were showing them two like episodes from two years apart. So yeah. I was I was watching an episode on Central <laughs> and. Then straight after watching an episode from two years before on Granada, it was great. Because so I think I think that the final episodes, you know, would have been when I was around about thinking about anywhere between eighteen and twenty. Yeah, which... I reckon. The, I reckon the last the last ones were I was about nineteen or twenty, and yeah. uh, so it's uh, it was weird. And also, I dropped out by that point because obviously I started going to the pub so uh, it wasn't uh it wasn't as important yeah. to me to uh to ensure i was back to watch it and also around i don't know maybe like the the fifth year of it it there was a i think a pretty obvious decline it didn't pick up again until right at the very end so, yeah i mean um, yeah i think the barnhurst lot turning up and all being shit didn't help but uh you probably don't remember those because you think, may well have missed them out. Cause... So I kind of started watching it um, with my mum um, when I would have been young. So I grew up in pubs. So um, so I was an only kid, grew up in pubs. So there wasn't really an early bedtime for me from pretty much a young age. Mum and dad might be working. They might both be working downstairs in the pub. And so I 
just became, you know, I've always been a night owl, but that kind of came through. And so they didn't really expect me to go to bed too early. And also I grew up around adults, so they kind of let me watch reasonably adulty TV when I was younger. Yeah. Um, so I remember when it came on and it started watching it, and it was probably like, you know, I'd still be up. My mum would make me some cheese on toast. You can watch Prisoner and then go to bed or whatever it was. So that was kind of kind of how it it it, it started, um, and that's kind of the B Smith Vinegar Tits era um, that I kind yeah, of remember the, when it started. The, the 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 first glory days of it, really. Yeah, and that yes. is to me. I remember it, but it's not the bit that I religiously watched. So I was into it. I remember B, I can look there, I remember Lizzie, uh, yeah, the was she Meg, the the, the prison Meg, guard on the Meg, left, yeah. I think. <laughs> um so I can yeah, and yeah, I kind of remember all of that, the, the characters in your background. Um and did, I should yeah, I, I'm gonna put what one week I'm gonna put this background up because it gets referred to on every episode. But no, well, no, one else, yeah, yeah. no one else, no one else sees the picture. So it's... It, it, it helps. <laughs> like so, so I kind of we watch. So I watch it around then, um, and I do remember thinking it was a bit naff. But I think that was because I thought all TV that my mum watched like soap operas and quiz mm. shows, and um, this was just one of a long line of you know things that she watched. Um, and I think when it first came out. A bit younger, and so I don't. It just didn't really grab onto me straight away. Um, always liked it. It was always, you know, in terms of I would watch it if it was on, but it was something that it was more something that my mum watched. Um, and I don't really, you know, remember falling in love with it too much at that stage. And then it was really as I got older. Um, you mentioned about going to the pub, so it sounded like you started going to the pub, whereas. Uh, I started actively not going to the pub and dropping out and staying in and listening to music and partaking of some herbalistic remedy around at my <laughs> friends' houses. Um, and um, well, there was a group of us and we had um, a couple of friends, Warren and Nicola, who they were like 16, 17, and they had their own flat. And so we wow. would all, yeah, they kind of, they both moved out <laughs> really young. Yeah, they were together. Um, and they had their own flat. And so this became a place where we would congregate. Um, and that's when we started watching it. And I actively, I hate soap operas. So I hate Coronation Street, hate Brookside, uh, hate EastEnders. It's just ridiculous. It's like, how can... I've never, you... I've never really watched it. I remember watching EastEnders when it first started when I was a little kid. And I reckon I might have lasted maybe a couple of months before I just went... I don't care about any of this. And yeah. so I've always had that attitude to all soap operas. And this is probably technically a, a soap opera. I know it ran, it had breaks and it officially had different series and stuff like that. But it, it pretty much ran non-stop for seven years. So yeah. it kind of is a soap opera. So it goes against uh, every, everything I've just said. I I'm, I'm, a, what, I'm a complete hypocrite. I think what really helps it is the setting of it. So it's in a prison. There are there is going to be violence. There are going to be people dying. There are going to be people taking drugs. And also, you know, you have long term characters that are involved in that. But also, you have these things where you know people will be in for five episodes and bugger off because something's yeah. happened to them. But the setting really made it bearable for me to watch because I'd watch. You know, you watch something. If you think about Coronation Street or EastEnders, if you think about some of the main characters in them, and like wrote a list of everything that had happened to them. You know, it's crazy, you know, like they've murdered someone, they've been in prison three times, that you know, there's about fifty kids born on Christmas Day in the street. Um, if they were <laughs> proper streets, they would have, you know, it's like there's that many things that have gone on. They would pull the streets down and like literally, you know, they they would level it. It's like there's there's so many things that are, is wrong with it. And so I I think with, with prisoner, the setting made it conducive to the the the, the storylines being something that I could bear to watch. Um yeah. And also, and... they've got they've got the get out of if a if a storyline doesn't work or a character doesn't work, they can either get uh, have them paroled or they can fuck them off to Barnhurst or or whatever. Yeah. So they've always got that get out as well. 
So it, the it, the the store the main story is the actual prison. Yeah. Well, everything everything else is kind of can come and go at yeah. any point. So it, it, that's kind of how it works. In in um, other shows where it takes place over a wider range of places, they can't do that as much. So that's yeah. that kind of works in its favour. I think. Yeah, and and so I mean I've not watched Prisoner now since the last episode was heard. So I haven't watched it back again, which You're is crazy. Treat, really. then. You're in for a treat. Um, but I would still say if anyone asked me what is the best like end to a series, you know, payoff, final episode, uh, I absolutely love the final episode. Of- I, I agree. I, 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 think I, miss, I remember something there with stuff when people talk about things like Breaking Bad having a brilliant ending and stuff like that, and I go, uh, it's all right. Now forget it, the it wasn't forget, it wasn't it wasn't Prisoner yeah. good. Forget Sopranos. <laughs> forget you know Breaking Bad. Forget anything else. It was it was this build up. Um, with, I'm sure spoilers aren't an issue here, are they? But you know the whole build up of, of of you know. Um, it was just the payoff of it because I remember. I think um, like I said, I started listening to the second podcast that you did, and he he was talking. I can't remember the name of the guy, but he was talking about you kind of suddenly found out that it, this is ending, and mm. we had a panic on. And I just, oh, how are they going to? You know, how are they possibly going to yeah, end it was tied this up, show? It was tied up within about like they were given very little notice, and to to tie it up like that within the space of maybe like. Eight episodes or something that they were they were given the time it, to, it, uh, it, to do I it. Think it's amazing. It's, it's generally one of those, you know, like you, you do see these, and I don't know if you're one of those, but you know, you see these things where people are cheering in movie theaters because something's happened or something like that. Genuinely, when I watch the final, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool being like, in America. It was like, <laughs> yes, like this is just the best thing I've ever watched, and the payoff of it, it was just, it was, it was absolutely fantastic. The build up, the like the what those. So for me, the the the, the series that I, I remember in my head, and I definitely watch a lot more of this, but I kind of remember from, um, and I I I I did look this guy up because all I remember him as is the guy out of Home and Away, Alf Stewart, and, uh, and yeah, the guy who had the crossbow at one point in it, which I remember being absolutely ridiculous but also fantastic TV. Um, yeah, so I kind of I, I mean I know the actor has a name. But he'll yeah. always be Alf Stewart. He can't. Yeah. He can't not be Alf Stewart now because that's that's it. They they they're all known by the names of the characters they played when I first saw them. But so Alf Craven, Stewart is that. It? Yeah, there's um, Helen Daniels because I used to watch Neighbours as a kid. Uh, you know yeah. that all these well, all these the people thing. they've got real names, but they don't really matter. And that's <laughs> another thing. If you watch Prisoner, you'll just be like, "Jesus, like that. That's somebody who's in like." I'm pretty sure that the you know the I mean I cut again. Um, it's most of them, to be fair. Yeah, like well, that's the thing about Australian soaps. Like eventually they're all in it, but um, it was it was it was, it was that thing. So yeah, you, you'll have so many cross references with certainly Neighbours, Home and Away, which were big when when I was a teenager. They were things that you come home and watch after school, kind of thing. It was a we, massive thing, wasn't it? Yeah, we 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 covered it a little bit in the. Uh... In the Christmas episode, where there was a neighbor's scene which had about like uh, five <laughs> characters out of prisoner in it, it, it de- deliberately it was done deliberately yeah. like that. It was uh, on prisoner's 40th anniversary for some reason. There was uh, neighbors decided to celebrate it, so you got Margot and Judy and um, uh, Doreen, they're all in this scene together and they're do- doing all these like kind of prisoner related puns throughout the scene. So uh, we co- we covered that in the in the uh, yeah. Christmas episode. So uh, w- when you've got really nothing better to do, have a listen to it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm going to try. I, well, I'll, I will go back and listen to them because it is. And I think I I'm going to. I think I'm going to go back <laughs> and watch a bit of Prisoner. I think um, I'm definitely going to. So I think are they on YouTube? Are they just on YouTube, or is it worth? Yeah, they're all on YouTube. But we, well, you you can. They're all available on uh, DVD. And also, I think they might be on the Channel Five. I saw website. that as well. Yeah, um, so, but the, I had a look at a couple of those in the hope that they were in beautiful restored quality, rather than YouTube rips. And I think the YouTube rips might actually be better standard than. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, I, the I, ones on YouTube yeah. are fantastic. 
It's like definitely well, the one we're about to watch. Some of it. Yeah, the one we're about to watch was essentially stolen from YouTube. So it's oh, really? <laughs> right. And which and, which kind of era is it? Of, uh... Well, that was it. It's do, it's done randomly. So yeah. uh, all I do is put number uh, a random number generator up somewhere between number one and six hundred and ninety-two. Um, and it's six nine two. I'm going to leave my shit. <laughs> it, 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 it's awesome. But uh, it was somewhere pretty much slap bang in the middle. It's oh, okay. three three hundred and eighty six. So that that will be probably be towards the the end, maybe. I, th- it's, I think it's late B. Yeah. Um, so I've got a feeling she left around four hundred. It might even have been. I can't remember. Four hundred was, was her. Oh, there was, was a few. few that, there was a few. That, there was there was Myra. There was Nora. And it, there was a few different ones. Uh, For me, Myra, was, Myra was all right, but yeah. um, Nora was bloody awful. Such a it's nice just character. B or um, again, I'm terrible with names. The biker girl, who, Rita. Rita, who, yeah, the the Rita era for me is where we were really into it. Um, and just, and, the thing and, is, that's not that long. A lot, of, a lot of people as, uh, associate it with being an, uh, like a proper era, but it wasn't that long when she was. She is was it like the last? Is it is it like the last hundred or something? It's, or is like, it maybe the, less it, it's like in the six hundreds. Yeah, it's really. Yeah, it's it's, it's weird because I think it's because. The five hundreds, you've got this era where they have the um, the siege, right? And then after that, and until Rita shows up, there's like I think it's like the worst period. Then it's when Nora was the the top dog. Yeah. And, I don't really uh, remember Nora. Best way to do it. <laughs> best way. Best way. To do I, I, it. I think. I think the thing is, is that. The, the the initial series I think was a bit more real and a bit more gritty and a bit more issue driven, and yeah. then I think once Rita came into it, it it kind of you know they ramped up the ridiculous level of it at times. Like I, I, say, I, I, yeah, you know I the no guy with, with it being the, with, and that, but it also but became it was just go, fantastic watching. Yeah, if you're gonna go ridiculous, go full on ridiculous yeah. with a crossbow. That's what yeah. you might as well go all the way rather than. Be as like melodramatic as someone like Nora was, <laughs> and uh, but uh, anyway, anyway right, so we've we've got episode three hundred and eighty six, um, and because if you're like me, the actual episode numbers mean nothing to you, so you you kind of can't say, oh yeah, episode three hundred and eighty six, that's where this happens. Well, you can. Mark could in the first series. <laughs> he knew he knew everything off our but I can't. Photographic I, I, memory. Of I can't. Every episode of Cell Block. So um, what I've done is I've prepared a little recap of episode um, three hundred and eighty-five. Previously, on Prisoner Cell Block H, Sharon sets about attacking Helen again until Judy stops her as the police arrive to investigate the complaint. Wally takes San for dinner in a place which very definitely isn't a veggie restaurant. Helen, Sharon and Judy are taken in for questioning. Joan's niece, Lucy, visits with her boyfriend Wayne, I love and how many breaks in when Joan doesn't answer. Sharon is charged with malicious wounding, Helen with kidnapping and Judy with accessory to abduction. Helen oh. refuses bail to stay with her sister but pays Judy's bail. Joan fails to recognize Lucy when she returns home and finds her asleep on the front porch. Helen and Sharon are taken to Wentworth and Pixie is shocked when Helen tells her why she'd been in Wentworth before. Lucy tells Joan she wants to stay with her to give her chance to look for a job, but she has other motives, her boyfriend brings round drugs to hide in Joan's house. He tells her they could set up as dealers if they could get hold of a few hundred dollars and gives the go-ahead to Petra's classes, despite Joan saying how pointless they have been in the past. Not Colleen like specifically warns Scott about Pixie and her attempts to get out on psychiatric grounds. Petra <laughs> hears Lizzie mention Scott's name and drops an iron on her foot to get Petra to see him. It is apparent mention? that they know each other intimately and that Petra didn't want him to contact her as she expects to be found guilty so they cannot now get married. Anne is angry with Wally for deceiving her about the events at Driscoll, 
but he protests that he only invited her out because he enjoyed her company. Sharon talks loudly in the dining room about the religious life to Pixie so Helen can hear. Maxine takes Sharon's side against the oldies. And tells Judy she may lose both her jobs and Driscoll House closed down. Sharon, Sharon Helen rejects says, Helen and accuses her of only getting involved so she could get hold of her inheritance. So Pixie Driscoll House is like the halfway thing Scott when they get them out. Yeah. By mentioning the bells she Judy hears come with. from Mars, he quips that she's lucky they don't come from Uranus. The women take sides about Sharon, Maxine for Sharon and Lizzie for Helen. Pixie forgets the tablets Scott gave her and returns to the surgery where Scott is just about to kiss Petra, and promptly tells the women what she's seen. Kay visits Helen to pass on information from an ex Woodridge inmate about Lionel Fellows, and warns that Fellows is out for revenge over the photo of him and Ted Douglas. <laughs> Lucy cons money out of Joan to buy clothes to make a better impression so at interviews, going on. which I she know. hands over to Wayne. Scott tells Judy the truth about his relationship with Petra. B tries to talk to Sharon, but when Colleen arrives on the scene just as Sharon attacks B, it is B who is accused of hitting Sharon. Colleen puts B in solitary. Peter comes to Driscoll to tell Judy that Colin Burton has died. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that the full episode? Uh, There's yeah. some interesting bits there. I think I think anything that involves I think Joan Ferguson is just oh such, amazing. It's just like one of the, like the the great characters of, of anything. I, I, I absolutely agree. I mean, um, I was going to do a thing about um, just like asking everyone on this about who their favorite character is. But if it isn't, if your favorite character isn't Joan Ferguson, you haven't been watching. No, it's it's, it's the, the show is it's it it, it, it becomes once, she, once she's show. in it, it's her show. It's like it's kind of like The Simpsons without Homer, or it's it's yeah, you know, it's South Park without without Cartman. It just would lose its meaning without her. And and I you know I remember like I say, Vera the first one, but but for me I don't rem you know I remember Meg because she was kind of a nice one. You kind of remember the Meg's the, always but, there, yeah, but but doesn't really add anything. You know, no. but, but, but I don't but, know. She does some atrocious, uh, atrocious acting hmm. at times. But um... but, but Joan Ferguson, like the whole lot. But it's it's interesting because like she 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 has these occasional moments where she softens for a few episodes or maybe a week, and then it feels suddenly, weird. But not it doesn't last long. <laughs> it's the writers trying to give her like depth, and you go, and everyone watching's going, we don't want her to have depth. No, we no, just no. want her to be the freak. That's what we yeah. want from her. It's uh, yeah. It's it it is what what are you what I remember is is mainly her, yeah, for the program. It's and she drove so many the great storylines from it. Yeah, so it, and was just... yeah, it is, and it's weird to think that, that for the first like over a third of its existence, she did she wasn't in it. I know it's quite it's quite weird to think of it like that. Right, so um. The mentions of Sharon there, and I was trying to think of who Sharon Yeah, I was. can't remember. And I think Sharon is Helen's sister who was involved with the cult. I think that might be. Right. If, that, if, that's, if that's wrong, then. I think they mentioned Quite Lizzie like in an episode here as well. I think they mentioned Lizzie might be in there. I think Lizzie, B and uh, Doreen all left around the same time. So the should Lizzie and Doreen should still be around at this point. So we will see. B right. still top dog off. B should still be top dog at this point, yeah. Um okay, so let's have a look at episode 386. Why not watch along with us? It's the best way to enjoy our insightful analysis. There's a YouTube link in the episode blurb. Well, what's happened? Colin Burton didn't pull through. He died late this afternoon. Huh. It was literally the last time, the last four words of the recap. There's Lizzie. Yep. B. Ian Brown. Anyhow, old Coatface reckons the bee was fattening the kid. Oh, I don't know. B's gonna be ropeable when she gets out of that pound. 
one a young Sharon doesn't want to come in. Yeah. Oh, get serious. She had to go and see the governor. Anyway, maybe she can fancy having breakfast with a bunch of wowsers who keep trying to run her life. What would you know? You can't even run your own bloody life. I thought you weren't speaking to me. Yeah, I wouldn't waste me bloody breath. Come on, cut it out, the two of you. You tell her to cut it out. I'm allowed to have my own opinions and I still... Do you remember the names of these books? Yeah, I, I, I assume hey, someone scratched you know? you Helen. You won't even listen to it. Sounds all right to me. All they do is sit around and love each other. Nothing wrong with that, is there? For God's sake, Maxine, I have seen... I assume Helen got scratched There's a lot more to it than that, so. believe me. That makeup yeah. suggests so, anyway. don't you go getting mixed up in it. Now you're trying to tell me what to do. How come everyone over 30 reckons they know better than we do? Please, you mustn't argue. It's bad for your digestion. The sensible thing I've heard all morning. That's right. Cease fire over the meal, okay? Listen, don't worry. If I know B, she's dead. What? Oh, no. He died last night. Oh, Sharon, I'm so sorry. I can't believe it. I still don't know how it all happened. They're charging oh, right. me with murder. I've remembered now. They were trying to get her. Hey, there's like, a few in this morning, they were trying to unbrainwash her. I also ring after nine. And she so she first. was in a cult. Oh sure, Why she was in a cult. And they were trying to unbrainwash her. And she stabbed the guy who was trying to unbrainwash her. And that was that's dead Colin. Who they were going to? You sadistic little bitch! I saw that. There we go. Me round you, old dyke. Oh, you're in trouble. Oh, I, I didn't Just mean... pack your things and get out right now. That must be a niece, I think it said in the synopsis, didn't it? Yeah. Maxine, can we talk? You mean if you can lecture me again, I reckon I've had a gutful already. I do not want to lecture anyone, especially you. It's just that this whole thing has got way out of hand. Yeah, and whose fault's that? Oh, okay. You've got me down as the villain of the piece, and right now I'm too wrung out to argue with you. But you saw Sharon's face in... Yeah, and now she's copping a murder charge because you want her to do things your way. I never wanted it to go that far. None of us did. Maxine, whether you believe it or not, I really love that kid. I assume you didn't see the cult, because otherwise you'd, you'd definitely remember it if you saw me, it. I'm, I'm thinking, like, this might be the block, like, kind of that lost period for me. I'm not going to change my mind about uh, it, it was one of the, one of the remember, worst remember too many of these characters. It was so funny, but in terms of actual a plot device, it was one of the worst things they ever did. It was absolutely mad. all this worth losing a friend over? I don't remember the cult. I really don't, so... Okay, I'll lay they they spoke you. about it I'm for a few you. episodes, you got and then right off me. they they finally did a reveal, and it was a man who looked like uh, Noel Edmonds, <laughs> sit, sitting in some kind of like a room that's got like twenty <laughs> school chairs all like How much set up. Look, Army Joan. And apparently I'm he's the great one leading this uh, cult. Well, I know I've missed things. Out. Oh, so the losing. dog was obviously sniffing You're out those drugs. And... That's the last thing I need around yeah. here. You deliberately attacked that dog for no reason, and I won't stand for that. I mean, that, that, for me. that coat's a good enough reason to be thrown out, surely. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm going. <laughs> that is hideous, isn't it? It's, uh... Haven't you forgotten something? It was like, from, like, what? late 70s to mid-80s. You still have several hundred dollars of mine. I want it back. So, this, I don't work out when this episode is. This has got to be, like, about 83. I've got no job, nowhere to stay. So, I need that money. 83 in, uh, in Australia was like 1976, 1977, everywhere It's never made a difference when so, I've needed any help. All right. <laughs> that's not meant as a criticism. That just seems to be the way it sure. was. I'll pay you back, I promise. Oh, you'll pay me back, all right. You'd be a very silly little Joan girl. Joan seems not. by far the best actress in it as well. I'll never forget <laughs> a debt. Oh, there's, a few, there's a few good ones. I've said on, these, on some of these before that... The, People always criticise the bad acting and stuff like that. Roberts, and there is some yours. bad acting in it. It's just that yes, it, it stands the, out uh, because it is bad. Said you were in the hospital. And everyone else's is fine. And down. that's Please, why the bad yeah, acting sticks out. Well, I have to talk to you about your defence. But they, they now, must have been churning it out. Our best like, bet is diminished responsibility. Ridiculous rate to have that many episodes. Mm. I don't understand. 
I was well, not if you think of it, it's 692 episodes in seven years. Miss Roberts, as your lawyer, there aren't, not I mean, lawyer, at least not by my that's case. like two a week for seven years. It was a decision to appoint you. Granted, but I still intend to defend you. The least you can do is give me something to go on. I told everything to the police. Yes, I know. I have a copy of the statement, but I need more. Well, I have nothing else to say. And that's two TV hours as well. Nothing. I so need it's to not know like how. most shows are half an hour. It's only that statement. I can't it's the equivalent of there being like four episodes no, a week Gilbert, for seven years. No, Mr. you don't understand. There's no it's way anyone like can defend me. It's literally like Coronation Street guilty. levels of like getting stuff out, isn't it? Yeah, they are on like three times a week. I'm not well, sure, but ah, oh, there you go. The Lord be with you. I haven't and seen Dawn. Maybe Dawn's already gone. Dr. Has got. There isn't so, enough for all of us. one thing I think I can remember is that if you're on the press, you were top dog. dog. So is she top dog, dog at the moment? And the well, um, we haven't seen B, have we? Or B in solitary. But B might be in solitary or hospital or something. Or maybe she's escaped again. You shouldn't let what other people think turn us against each other. That's what I've been trying to tell Didn't you. Didn't Lizzie have about 15 about heart attacks as well on the cruise? Are you going to be friends again? <laughs> well, I love the problem is, she always pretended she was having a heart attack, <laughs> which was a lot. Anyway, which means that if she did have a real one, no one probably noticed. You, Max, <laughs> you always run off at the mouth before you get your brain in here. Lizzie's I hair is at, it, is at its peak Lizzie. emo Phillips here, isn't it? We yeah. Probably both in She's one of my favourite characters. I think she added a bit of comedy work. relief in yes, every, you know, every episode. Idea. There's always a bit Maxine? with Lizzie. No, just hold your horses. They the had it when, when she left. They didn't really. They, she was a popular character, so she got released to kind of feel good story. And then they go, all right, what are we going to do with Lizzie now? And they didn't really know, so they just had to put her back in. A bit like that, uh, what is it? It's just like I had a bloody good that teacher, old Shawshank Redemption guy, oh, isn't it? When he gets released, he didn't know what he did. <laughs> she didn't know what to do with herself. Uh, at least she didn't top herself. No, they, they brought her back. I mean, um, morning, Reynolds, uh, sorry, uh, spoiler morning, alert for the Shawshank Redemption, which has got, bit, <laughs> which to be fair, has got to be thirty power. years old now. Yes, Mr. <laughs> Darling, what can I do for you? Well, it seems like we've yet to do a wow. check on the new. Wow, she's not the original Wentworth. Governor. I have Governor. all the plans here. No, I she's. In fact, we must be quite day. early into oh, her reign. So, too, Mr. Barlow. Um, what about today? That would be fine. Well, lovely we would like to complete the fire. I mean, brown, the brown beige. Bra brown beige and Shall we say later this yeah, morning? Beige carpet he had as well. Come in. Oh, thank you for your cooperation. Not at all. I'll be happy to give you any assistance you need when you're here. We've commented Bye. on it um, before about thank how you, beige and brown everything is. Well, and then today, in one of the later Fine. series, everything goes khaki. Well, don't do any work unless you really feel up to it. I it's a real Dr. step Collins up. A bit worried about you. I'm all right. Probably really. just like ran out Things of the, the beige paints in production. That's understandable. <laughs> they got I a new job lot. I thought we got the prison where everything's oh, grey oh, and the women are wearing dark blue. The and then outside the I'm prison, everything's beige and people are wearing brown. That's kind of what it is. That's why that girl's jacket stood out. Some books that my son Paul had left from his HSC year. I don't know whether they're any use to you, but he says you're welcome. Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. I'm not assuming you see long overdue. She's just been a bit of something. When can I start? They are usually wearing well, uniforms, don't you? You'll be on remand, won't you? I'm afraid it'll have to be during recreation time. If you're on remand, you can wear your own clothes. Ah, I'll right. let the others know. Thanks again. Uh, I've just, uh, I've just remembered who she is. She's Petra, and your she's having, the book, she's engaged she to the doctor or something like that. I've just remembered now. Please, Mrs. Reynolds. I just can't and, uh, cope with unless, right now. unless that's a big reveal Especially later family. in the episode, in which case, I sorry, I've just thought that for you. But I, I think that was mentioned in the uh, recap. Especially your sister. There's usually oh. somebody in at some She's all right, isn't always she? who shouldn't. Oh, your aunt's a bit worried about her. her. There's always like loads Apparently of career criminals. Apparently she refuses to eat until she sees And then there's usually you. one who's like obviously shouldn't be there. I think that's when they first started, I'm sure there was somebody who was like... Lynn. A bit admitted who definitely shouldn't I just be there. Don't want to hurt yeah, Lynn, who was the. Let's not be around the bush. The, the pretty one they put in prison in order to get people to watch it. Yeah. Massive, old massive old eyes, long blonde hair, why but why really, really dark as a character. Who is? The 
the Reverend Alpha Centauri. I think that's a good thing about it as well. I mean, you know, not to disparage oh, the but you know, you had kind you of even seen him. all of these other the things. You know, what? even they even like other soaps, they always have these people in the. And, well, I think the thing about prison is you know? like, really has normal Thomas. looking people in it. It has no glamour whatsoever. Oh, oh, never. I think that's it's, one. It's the opposite of Dynasty or something. It was like never. I could never. I could never. I could never point to a single episode where you say, "Oh, any glamour is involved." His real name is James Blackman, and that he's con millions of dollars out of poor drongos who thought he was the ants pants. Yeah, well, I said that. There's a word I've not heard for thirty years. Had half a chance. Will everyone get their money back, Lizzie? No, he shot through. Isn't it amazing? That was the Noel Edmonds court leader. I've done it again, haven't I? Reckon the new doc would give me a brain transplant? Oh, I got's not working too good. Uh, don't blame yourself, Maxine. A hell of a lot of people were taken in by him. Yeah, but I reckon I need me ears washing out. Only, what am I going to say to Lizzie? Oh, I know, Lizzie, it shouldn't be too difficult. I just hope this doesn't hit Sharon too hard when she finds out. She was the one on the right, I'm sure she was something else court. at some point. She's definitely been in a, She's got no one. another Aussie soap, I'm sure. Possibly. She was in and out of prisoner, like, maybe four or five times. Was she? Yeah, she was like a, she's like a recurring guest star. Because she used to get put in for a couple of weeks. It was almost like... They wanted someone who was able to communicate with the outside world on occasion. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, can I help you? You're the building inspector for public works? Yes, Barlow's the name. Oh, Barlow, eh? I love the background music. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one of these about the music, ju just Where about the incidental music. Yeah. There isn't much music in it. It's all this though. It's like. Good because I'm so glad I was so worried about yesterday. Thanks for giving me away. Sometimes it's actually quite subtle, but occasionally something will happen and it will just completely overshadow everything else that's going on. I think I'm in love and I haven't even seen him yet. <laughs> if anyone's interested, Mrs. Reynolds gave me the school books this morning. First class is after lunch. Beauty! Oh, that's terrific. We need something that goes out of this rut round here. I wonder how many yeah, of Lizzie's lines really were just couldn't. shouting Beauty or school? Ripper or... You mean the three of them? <laughs> no, there was two of them. Ricky and Ray. <laughs> Real spunky little devils with knobbly knees. I hear it. Glad to hear everybody's having a good time. Lizzie, telegram for you. Oh, it's God. Nice. Why'd you have to There's Me Meg doing her admin again. It's always mean bad news. Yeah, come on, not this time. It's actually very good news. Mrs. I think it's about 90% of Meg's uh, scenes are, at, are actually just doing admin. Is she okay? Was that, didn't like, yes, weren't there like her entire her family prison guards? Why do they always remember? have to... Like, he, he comes from a long line of prison guards. No, she was, uh, really she was born in prison. Her mum was a crib. Lots of news and she was way. born in prison. Oh, right. Mick. But then well, later on... Load a telegram. And also her husband, her first my husband, old dog, Lizzie. He um, sounds pretty keen on you. Rubbish. was a pr uh, long prison long guard man. as well. Well, you can put it away now, Lizzie. Dr. Collins wants you And then you later check on, her up. son's I a prison guard. check up, Mrs. Emma. I feel as though I could take on the whole... Right world. at the end of the series, her son's. Well, what do you know? Telegram all those thousands of miles. You wouldn't credit it, would you? Now the dog, well, I'll have to start beating them off with sticks soon. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Maxine's character because she's incredibly Aussie. Couldn't have happened at a worse time. And have you ever heard the actress? I'm afraid this speak? kind of publicity is bad. She doesn't sound like that majority. at all. She's she's really, up, up, she's really totally up to the Aussie on it. I don't believe it. It can't be true. Well, of course, it's no direct reflection on you. It seems that all the members of the commune were taken in by this blackman. Just the same, we were relying very heavily on his evidence as a character witness. If it's true, then I've got no one. I've got nothing left. 
Well, it's not entirely hopeless. We have an unexpected ace in the hole. A witness? Who? Well, it seems that although Peter Shannon was involved in the deprogramming, his sympathies lie very much with you. He's prepared to help us. Peter Shannon? But how can he? He's appearing for the prosecution. Yes, he is, but he told me that he's prepared to testify to the fear and mental anguish that you were subjected to. It might just be enough to sway the jury. Peter Shannon. I thought he was against me. He was going to hurt me. On the contrary, Miss Smart. Right now... I think as much as Shannon sometimes as well, it is ridiculous prisoner. Yes, it is. I think... I, many, many years ago, I used to be a lawyer. Um, I'm not right anymore, back, but I used but to be. Did. Just and, a moment, Lizzie. And I do find that a lot of programmes you watch, you do think, God, they're just... They're taking the mickey with the law here. How but I think I prisoners are usually reasonably well, on point with, with wrong, quite a few things. I'd say you've got the body of a 35 I, I, I think the... Yeah. The plot yeah, drives everything. If someone needs to get I'm off on a technicality, <laughs> they'll get yeah. off on a technicality. Right. If, they, if they need to be unfairly sent Let's down, they're down. unfairly sent Let's down. Listen to your heart. Oh, I don't suppose but, you'll um, be able to find that. Yeah, the, the justice <laughs> no, within, no, within no, the prison has always been my biggest problem there, because man, someone, worry, someone dies and yeah. they'll just no, assume it's the person nearest to them all the time. If someone finds a body, they'll go, why have you done this for? I haven't done it. You can stop looking, Doc. You're doing, Lizzie. <laughs> well, I'll be back. Lizzie, what do you think you're doing? Oh, it's just looking for your stethemajig. And what have you got there? Oh, this dropped out of your pocket. But don't worry, I won't tell us so how I like a bit of romance myself. Look, Lizzie, I don't know what you think you saw. Oh, come off it. Dark. I'm too long in the tooth not to believe me own eyes. Anyway, I think she's a lovely girl and she shouldn't be in here with the rest of us. Look, Lizzie, I can assure you. I told you. Oh, the doctor's away. going out with it's our little scene. Petra. Yeah, yeah. I still don't understand. Oh, I'll get rid of that jacket, woman. A sweet setup because of a <laughs> bloody dog. Yeah, well, I'm not exactly thrilled about it myself. For one thing, I haven't got anywhere to stay now. Also, she's a criminal. You'd think she'd want to be a bit more uh, inconspicuous than, than wearing that. Thanks for nothing. Well, isn't she? She's just the freak's niece. She's the freak's niece. Yeah. Anyway, That's the way it goes, isn't it? I think. As soon as we get the really big bread rolling in, we can get a fancy place together, if you like. You'll do it then. The hard stuff. It's what you want, isn't it? You better believe it, lover. I don't intend to live like a pig one minute longer than I have to. <laughs> it's good to have ambition, isn't it? <laughs> yes, any problems? Well, the building inspector's here. I gathered from what he said that you were expecting him. There Dad, you go. Meg on admin as well. I've also double checked with his office. You better show him in. I like pointing out every time she does it. She show, shows people in, tells them she stands at the back during um, yeah. I'm interrupting your lunch visits. Oh. Oh, that's quite all right. Did she, Sorry, we kept you did she ever make I'll arrange that? for an officer to take you around. Meg. She did once oh, for the same to you, yeah. Mrs. Reynolds. I no. Go alone. Did she With never make governor? I, she, she, I'm looking for. I, I, I think at best she was deputy down. governor and... Sing governor well, I for like nothing wrong with that as long as the women are 10 attached, seconds you must have when uh, there are prisoners around someone else and for your protection the 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 oh, the yeah i think that was <laughs> as, as long as it was but i think officially she didn't want the job oh that's very kind of you but but she also really I wanted the job of deputy everything. governor Oh, if you have any questions while I'm out, it shows very much my deputy um, limited uh, ambition on her part. You've been very kind. I only wish all my calls were this easy. And then he even so when, told she'll me take the extra money, but she doesn't want all the responsibility. That's for the rest of me. Well, I reckon he was only kidding, Birdsworth. Just shut up, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, there's B. Well, about time I thought you were going to starve me to death. Now that would take years, Smith. Come on, Birdsworth, hurry it up. Get out of the What do you reckon? The new doc's got a girlfriend. Birdsworth, stop mumbling. I haven't got all day. You can't not. I said move it, Birdsworth. Not spill the beans, is it? Oh, Miss Ferguson. 
the previous scene, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Next scene, immediately tell anyone. Secret them. safe with me. She's a lovely girl. Good luck to you. First chance she gets. I think that's the uh, law in the in soap operas and uh, these sort of shows, though. I think no one's allowed to keep a secret. To to if if they did, look, Anne, I'm just trying to apologise. What happened yesterday? I was trying to help a friend. It had nothing to do with us. I wasn't aware there wasn't us. Look, having dinner with you last night was one of the nicest things that's happened to me for a long time. I realise it started out with some sort of ulterior motive, but that wasn't the way it finished. It wasn't. Please, Wally, I haven't got much time. I've got to You're get to the bank. You're a very attractive woman. I would really like to get to know you better. Of course, if you'd rather not get that to know me better... That has nothing to do with it. Then what the hell are we arguing for? Um, <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> I think I've been overreacting to everything that's happened during the last two days. Then, <laughs> what about overreacting to an invitation to lunch? No Driscoll House, no ulterior motives, just us. What do you say? <laughs> I know Wally's meant to be a nice guy. In this. All, he, he does seem say? rather creepy. <laughs> he looks. I mean, you know, if you he, if you put all the dialogue in, up that, looks like he slept in a hedge. Homeless man approaches woman asking for change. It could have easily been that. It looks. He just looks so dishevelled. You see, this is what I mean about the music. Yeah, There's it is. Music. It's Jaws, isn't it? It's the thing yeah. from Jaws. With almost a little bit of, uh, it's the, uh, I don't know what that <laughs> thing is. They hit, yeah, that that, that, that rattle uh, percussion instrument. Yeah, it's gonna be a bomb, isn't it? Just let some random guy walk around the prison. <laughs> so, the, the prison is as secure or insecure as the story dictates. I, I love it when. Um, when, when, when the siege happened, and they had these Not like once, but you get to four you give it trained choice. marine types yeah. who yeah, found it impossible to get out of the prison with machine guns. And, <laughs> and, and then, you know, a few episodes Why before that, be Myra just walks out by um, putting on a hat. And yeah. <laughs> I reckon it's great having a bit of romance in this room. Like you say, they're, willi they're, they're willing to... Did, did Pixie tell you? No, did... I did a bit of sticky it's picking. It's a fit, a fit how they want it. Me down with a yeah. When I saw him with this your week, photo. This week, some high security. I told him Next week, no, anything. Secret between us. So we've always talked anyone. about Doreen as being uh, anyway, the best... So uh, Rubbish. How can it plot be reliant character because she's as smart or as stupid as the plot it? needs her to be. <laughs> That's the very reason why I have to end it. I'm going to be here for years. I can't expect him to wait forever. It isn't fair. Oh, don't count your chickens. You haven't even had your trial yet. That won't make any difference at all. I don't have any defence to offer. Well, even if you did it, you must have had a bloody good reason. Just tell him, love. It's not that simple. So what? I, I can't remember well, Lizzie. She was in. She was obviously in for a long down. time. It's not worth. So I'm assuming it must have been a murder. She, she, she served you know, twenty years for a murder she didn't commit. Then got <laughs> then got released, given forty quid and released. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then she realised she missed being in prison, and so she started doing like petty crimes to get sent back down. Did he do that to you? A bit of shoplifting, that kind of thing. When I was 15, yeah. And then regularly until I got out of that house. Even when I was at teacher's college, I dreaded coming home for visits. I think Petra must get off at the so trial worried, then, because I don't remember that much. I, I think she's one of those characters, like I say, she comes in, she shouldn't be there, she gets out pretty quick. Yeah, so I reckon that's probably it. She's not, she's not one of those that's going to hang around for years. They, they don't have a, a storyline to develop beyond a few Just episodes. Just after my so. charming no. father got drunk and boasted about it. I just told him about Scott and I. I guess he figured he'd break us up and he'd have me all to himself again. Does the doc know all about this? He knew there was something emotionally wrong with me when we met. But he was so patient. See, there's what? some 
Why did Simon you Bates Hour Tune door? music in the background, if you listen carefully. My sister Emma. <laughs> I wanted her to come and live with me after Mum died. But she loved him so much. And he swore to me he wouldn't touch her. I was so stupid to believe him. You made Dr me had a dramatic head. monologue. Nobody would blame you, love, if you just told them the truth. Maybe they wouldn't. This is why I didn't like Nora, because her entire character was just made of uh, dramatic monologues. I just can't do that to her. <laughs> you mean yeah, uh, I think there are a lot of them in this But that's them all them she had. Someone would speak to her and I she'd can... turn away and deliver a, as as a, a minute-long monologue. And that's all she did all the time. And it was never interesting. Can I help you? Dum, dum. Oh, I certainly hope so. I'm Frank Barlow. From the it's a bit more music. Right. Colin Powell. <laughs> the Bass Batman. players getting overtime. Oh, yes. Mrs. Reynolds said I should see you if I had any problems. It's like, yeah. I didn't mm. really expect to get lost there. Well, that's easily fixed. Which direction are you heading in? Well, the boiler room. These the corridors can get a bit confusing. Yes, they can. But you're on the right track. It's this way. So I, I do remember mm. that. Officer, but no idea of a name. But she was, seems like she's someone that she was very Ms. in quite Mrs. a bit. Mrs. Powell, Co Colleen. Problems with renovations. As a matter of fact, I haven't found a lot that needs amending at all. When, when Vera oh, left, we when Old Vinegar Tips Thanks left, you, Mrs. Powell, I they tried to make her the problem. new nasty no, please, so prison right. guard. But That's all right. I'll wait with you. it didn't really work don't want you getting because she'd already been in it for ages as a kind of all right one. How? So oh, Vera was, the, the, she was this is my nasty, but she just wasn't, I don't know. Ooh. All right, if you finish writing out that passage, I think we'll get started. It might she be wasn't good nasty enough, was she really? She, she so was very nasty, but when they kind of looked into hey, her backstory hey, a bit, you could see why she had so much hatred. <laughs> and she was all, even though she was a bit nasty with it, she was kind of... didn't have pictures of motorbikes in them. Oh, that kind of she stuck to the rules, didn't she? Yeah, but her life was awful. Oh, when you looked at her life outside the prison, it was, it was pretty on, pathetic. Please, and it's like the freak could just fit you all, plant stuff, do whatever she wanted. Oh yeah, uh, Joan's a psychopath. That's the difference. She's an absolute psychopath. But I take teaching pretty seriously. I don't mean that learning can't be fun, but I'm not going to have you spoil it for everyone else. So either sit down and shut up, or go away and let us get on with it. Good on you, love. That's telling you. Hey, what are we gonna read? Well, that piece you were writing about is from a book called Moby Dick. Ah, oh, beauty. Looks like we're gonna have some spicy stuff after all. <laughs> oh, bugger you, Max. See, you wasted the whole lesson. You should have gone while you had the chance. <laughs> Something personal. Believe me. I gave you an out, but you wouldn't take it. Since you had a job to do. Well, so do I, lady. And for the money they're paying me, I'm not taking any chance on you. So, so someone has pointed out to me uh, before that pretty much every male character in the show is an absolute twat. <laughs> and it's kind of true. Yeah, I can't think of any, any, any really, you know, even if they were all right for a little bit, they end up being a twat. Isn't it? I can't think of anybody. Some of them are slightly twatish, some of them are complete twats, but they're all twats. A lot of them. Easy now. No noise. No noise. This guy's, this guy's no noise. He, he shouts. Then we'll both be in pieces. See this little baby. Present for anyone who gets too nosy. You trip this wire. <laughs> I, lo I, I love how they make sure they explain their fiendish plan. Like a comic book character kind of thing. Superb. Why three hours? How how far has he got to go in three hours? <laughs> Did he save for three hours? Sorry. Yeah, because it was three hours, eleven minutes, and then the I seconds were ticking down. He's just gonna beat. He's just gonna beat Colleen up for three hours. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> oh, he's already gone. It's just going to sit there for three hours now. He's not throughout. So long, sweetheart. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> there you go. De definitely a twat. <laughs> like, as, as if you're going to say that. But this is that, that's again oh, where it became so such a great program. Is the, oh, the those scoffy oh. moments that you get in it. Yeah, we would absolutely oh, yeah. live for those moments. Well, the the early years with um, Jock Stewart in, and I suppose you come to gloat over absolute of bastard of a man, but such a great yeah, character. If you think I'm getting any pleasure out of saying I told you so? You're wrong. If anyone's to blame for this whole mess, it's me. You haven't killed anyone. That's something that I have to live with for the rest of my life. Still can't believe it. I thought I'd found some peace, some way to cope with the world. Now it's just one huge nightmare. Sweetie, I tried to tell you the man was a phony. You're a bright kid. I thought you'd work that out for yourself. Maybe I didn't want to work it out for myself. OK, you've proved you were right and I was wrong. But that doesn't make me wrong about everything. Being with people who can work together, they're wrong about this. Why she in prison? A day is where I want to be. You had no right to treat me like I was crazy just because I didn't fit into your idea of how I should live my life. I never had an idea of how you should live your life. I only ever had an idea that that Alpha Centauri wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Well, is that the name of the court? Yeah, Alpha Centauri. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna put me in jail for years all because you love me i think they had that more grandiose so plans for uh, uh, until they realized they reached that the story where they had to see the court and they went oh fault, shit, we haven't got any money it, that it was me that took you away from it was the court quite a long plot line you so you couldn't think straight Do it you was think dragged out a bit <laughs> i remember it being really funny when they oh, finally love. revealed it i would let you go down for something and it was just noel edmonds wearing a crown so did you actually see the court and the whole chance, thing behind it? It wasn't just no. You just you just no. saw saw the leader once. But Sharon, oh, well, I can't well, remember. I there wasn't the much done outside the prison. Judy was the real? Such a good mate of mine. No, not really. They they Judy really had to do it any magic. extra sets. Even yeah, when they were in the though, even when they were in the pub, you could tell it had the same walls as the cells. It just cut the bars down and put like a. Well, see you in Driscoll. How could she know? Okay, I don't suppose it matters anyway. They'll either believe me or they won't. Well, I don't think there's anything to worry about there. I have a feeling everything's going to be okay. This is definitely this is the dullest version of Helen. I think she's normally quite. I shouldn't have doubted you both. Quite like funny that and lively. And I'm sorry. And but this story was a bit shit for her. She's Have normally quite, quite uh, good character. No, not too long. I Judy. had some of the women to see Judy, anyway. Yeah. Listen, Anne, I've had a lot of time to think about what happened yesterday. She was just, from what I remember, she was just like a, a Judy, nicey kind of character. She was. Between when she was, you and me, I she was a bit harsh. She was, from the house she was always so nice. She was right the behind point. it. She was kind of righteous. The house is just brick and mortar. It's what the house stands for that matters. I don't want to lose my job. Can you see their faces at the department? If they fire you and then find you're their landlady, <laughs> stop worrying. But she sure she got out, happen. didn't she? She ended up the halfway you house. Stay on? Yeah, she ran. Yeah, it. I told them that you yeah. were completely in the dark about what was happening well, last I think, night. I think she that, got out like three times. It's the same with no earthly reason to fire when you Lizzie. They the kept job. releasing her, but huh. they had to as as clear, continue their story because they were a popular character. Duty. You know they have to cover them. And so sooner or later, all, they, they just, just stick to what they know, which is too. to put them back in the prison. Let's face it: if you weren't cleared of the charges, you'd end up in prison again. Oh, terrific. Well, there's no chance of that, is there? You're innocent. So there's nothing to worry about. There are, but there, there, there must be about fifteen different plot lines going Joan, on in this program. Well, she was on duty at lunch. The moment, that's like... crazy. No, it's like you've got what, you've got some guy planting a bomb. Lunch was two got hours Drugs ago. being Coral planted in the freak's reception. house. You've got oh, probably signed off doctors early. Go, Colleen, going out with somebody who's inside. It's almost like they're seeing that they're throwing so many plots at it and just seeing which ones stick and going with those afterwards. <laughs> you see, you didn't even mention the cult there. 
You know, I'm not surprised you had trouble finding solitary. I mean, it, it's, not, it's not like they had the cult out of desperation because they were short of ideas. There's loads of other plots corridors. going they on. Look exactly they just the decided not, they wanted uh, to do that as well. You didn't have any real problems then? Pardon? She well, was in it a long time. Yeah, oh, she, no, uh, she joined in like seems the, to meet the, the requirements. For, uh, second I'm year, sure maybe? there won't be anything left to worry about after today. Oh, well, that is good news. You didn't uh, ever see the So there were nail guards, guards were there at one point? Uh, no, like, I only there, was, there, was there were a few. Well, it was a mess. well on, on here, you, you can see, um, I think it was called Steve at the back there. On my uh, face, on my backdrop. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he was there, and there was a few later on. There was uh, Dennis, the pathetic Yorkshireman. There was... Um, was he actually a Yorkshireman? Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, Mrs. Reynolds. It's um, Sergeant Lewis. And there, there was... Uh, I'm um, sorry, Trouble. You, will we have, uh, have a Mr. Barlow here with us at the moment? Obviously, uh, Al Stewart Barlow? later on. You mean the building Craven. inspector? Uh, yes, also, his yeah, amazing shades that he wore. Yeah, but, uh, but I always think that's because I'm they sorry, went... I'm following you. Al Stewart's uh, been well, in this twice before. Been People are going to recognise him. Let's put him in disguise. He's a different case. Because that's right, he, he was he was in it. Sergeant, like, he wasn't all he like been in it a few Barlow times, hasn't he? Yeah, there's a few there's a few he's different people who who were that. Is he still on the premises? I'm not sure. Well it just well, shows how big the actor was talking. in we'll have someone there as Australia as at the time. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, Look, we don't know, but this fellow could be dangerous. You'd better get straight into it. Yes, thank you. Coral, is Mrs. Powell out there with you? I see. Would you send someone to get her and tell her that I want to see her immediately? And, um... If, I, if only he hadn't Mr. put Barlow three left. hours on the bomb, it had gone off by now. How long ago? It is the most... Like... It's not even like a set... It's not like an hour, Something or else. it's not even three hours. It was three hours, 11 minutes, and like 40 seconds. You just... You, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, mate. That's just the time that comes on it. Why well, you know, at least to be, you know, at least if you do it ten minutes. More excited. Uh, no, I read this yeah. real good story once about an ex-murder. Well, he's got to get out of a prison, right? So you could yeah, say, yeah. "All right, give himself an hour." Yeah, there you know. He's got, he, he, Moby put, put, Dick is yeah. class. Yeah. And was it three hours eleven minutes? He three hours like, eleven sorry, minutes and like forty seconds. I think it was like it's the normal. Yeah, all right. It didn't even start bang on the hour. No. Can't you hear me laughing? Come on, Maxine, how about giving Pixie a hand to load the dryers? Maybe they're mystical well, numbers like in Lost. Oh, there is a program as well. God. It really was a wonderful uh, story, Max. I read it three times. Robert? You've got a visitor. My sister? Yeah, she's waiting in the garden office about her. That is Meg's job, isn't it? Go on. She does have me, yeah. You'll see. You need to go here. You need to I'm go I'm here. I'm convinced. I'm convinced hey, she was actually paid as a prison warden <laughs> and, and just told to do to admin and you didn't it. even realise there were cameras there. <laughs> oh, I couldn't see how long was left. It was I, was, I was almost looking to see whether it had gone up. <laughs> Which could easily so it's, happen. It's, it's not even a timer, it's just a clock. Nice eye acting, Colleen. Yeah, it's these moments that, 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 that made this program great. These... Careful of the tripwire that he told you about. I mean, it'd be easier if he hadn't mentioned it at all, then you wouldn't know it was yeah, there. Just the... <laughs> yeah, but he, maybe he thought, well... Three, hour, three hours, 46, 54. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone off. It's actually, just a clock. I think it might just be a clock. I keep thinking about what will happen. Maybe it's going to go off at four o'clock. Maybe I that's what it is. Because of the bad dreams. What are we going to do? <laughs> Nobody's going to find out, Emma. I told you that. He didn't even set it off but properly. That's what. <laughs> you don't want me to be worrying about you all the time, no, do you? Maybe think no. of a bomb on an analog thing where you've got like here, this thing but... I think traditionally they used to use um, alarm clocks because they'd vibrate at the end of the time and that would set the bomb off. So I'm not quite sure how that would affect a digital clock. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now you just stop that. 
It wasn't your fault. And I won't have you blaming yourself. I should have done something about this years ago. And you wouldn't have to put up with all this now. I can't let them lock you up for something I did. You just listen to me. <laughs> you are never to mention that to anyone again. The background I'm guards sure. are great. They never get any lines. And that was the last time I saw her. Now I've checked with Joan and she hasn't seen her either. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't worry, but... Well, see me, Mrs. Reynolds. Yes, Joyce. You were the one who saw Mr. Barlow out when he left, weren't you? Yes. Oh, very charming man. Oh, I, I hope I haven't done anything wrong. Beautiful, I, I made beautiful taste that. in bonds. Charming he might have been. Building inspector, he definitely wasn't. Oh, dear. The thing is, we don't know what this man, whoever he is, was doing here. And you think it's a possibility Colleen caught him red-handed? I think it's highly probable. Colleen disappearing with him on the premises is just too much of a coincidence. Well, she certainly didn't leave with him. Meg, I want every officer to start looking for her immediately. Wherever she is, it has got to be somewhere here in Wentworth. We'll just keep looking till we find her. <laughs> oh, Colleen. <laughs> Go on, you're against, you're against the clock. Somehow. Oh, <laughs> got three hours. <laughs> you got three hours to take that tape off. Oh, Careful of the tripwire. Oh. <laughs> Don't touch it, for God's sake. Although she's already made it to the door without touching it. Hang on, what's she thinking about? 3.47. It must go off at four o'clock. We may be, we may be doing it with this service. I don't know. You, but either way, that's not how a timer on a bomb works. No. <laughs> right, so she's got, oh. she's got 13 minutes to run away. The great run. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even the sprint. It was like a little... <laughs> Definitely do an episode on the music. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Music, but now, oh yeah, just just stand there and have a chat. Don't leg it. There may be more in the prison. Oh come on, Mrs. M, let us out. Mrs. Pell, oh come on. Come on <laughs> She's so, so Aussie. I, I, I do love Maxine. She is so Aussie. See, now that one's done. No, it's going off at four o'clock. There's a continuity thing there. That's the going the four o'clock. Yeah. I think, well, I think yeah. that does a disservice. Or they're just clocks. <laughs> oh, we'd be awfully hungry. We could be here for weeks. <laughs> Someone just oh, leg it across. Oh, here she is. Anything happening out there, Maxie? Sweet FA. All the gates are locked up and I hold my guts out and there was not a soul around. And why well, do they only put a trip wire on that I one? Yes, we just sit and I mean, wait. I'm not sure they've thought their plan through. That's what I'm saying. I mean, now they're, they're looking worried, but it's like you're in prison. You're always locked up. There must be times where the guards... Oh. 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 <laughs> what episode? Oh, I'm sorry. What episode was that? Hang on. It was... Christ, I can't not but watch an episode. That's it. I'm back. That's, a, that's how they get you. That's how they I'm get back. you. From what ep what episode? I'm serious. I'm just going to note the phone. This, this is three, this is three eight six. Oh, is it three oh six? Three eight six. Three eight six. I'm back. That's it. <laughs> I, I am getting secretly paid by the Grundy Corporation to get, <laughs> people, to get people hooked back again. Yeah, three eight six. Let's look out for uh, Gilbert Broadway. The Colin Christmas, of course, location. Then it'd be like, yeah, so I can't remember how often it was on, but it'd be like, right, it then the... It was definitely on at least twice a week, possibly three times a week. Make a cup of tea, let's talk about it for a bit, have a little smoky, and then wait for the next one. Yeah, 983, there you go. It right. really, it, but the thing was, it, I've got to admit, I was watching the beginning. Yeah, maybe, maybe this wasn't what I remembered it being, and that that little cliffhanger ending was just... I sucked su you back in. Just when I thought so I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> really, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I am, I mean, 
my wife's away this weekend. I might end up watching about you know thirty episodes of this now. <laughs> it's easily done. Yeah, believe me, it's easily done. Um, right. So the the follow up questions I always ask on this is yeah. that was episode three eight six. What do you think happens in three eight seven? Oh, I mean that is if 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 that was that's a, a great that's a great time to ask it because normally so, it doesn't matter. Normally is you know is is someone's uh, plot to escape going to be slightly foiled? So that's... one thing is that if that bomb does go off at what four o'clock, there's about eight minutes left. Yeah, that the, but like that that bomb will still be at five minutes left after about part two. Halfway through it, it does, the the times the time scale you forget about that. Um, you got to look at that. They have targeted the places are going to do the most damage, the laundry and the boiler room. Well, we we really hit on a good episode though, because that, that well, the next episode is the bomb episode, isn't it? So there's yeah. all kinds. This of was all the tension. This was the like tension. They're locked in, so they're go, they, they're going to have to get bomb disposal in. There's going to be you know all kinds of stuff going on. Then they'll think, oh god, we've left the girls locked in the laundry. You know, did they find a bomb in the laundry? Maybe they'll tell them to have a look. There's so many things that could happen in that next episode. So I think I'm trying to remember what the point of the bomb is, though. I mean, it is there for a specific reason. So I don't think he's connected to the cult. And all, all, no, all he's can, not. It's, he it's was... separate to the cult. It's a different storyline to that. But I can't remember what the different storyline is. And if you do have someone who's gone into a prison... To put gone to the trouble of putting two bombs in the prison. Why would you target a boiler room and a laundry? Yeah, yeah, the, the things that are probably <laughs> most likely to be bomb proof is all the, the cast iron things that, that are there. Is the target just to annoy people or is it to uh, make everyone have cold showers for ages? <laughs> but they don't need to worry about those kind of things, it's that you know. Work. I mean, it, it it it's just it's just. But it's it's sucked me back in. That's the thing. I'm like, <laughs> I just want to watch it again. This is maybe this is why I've not watched it for thirty years. Yeah, because you, you I, can't I did the last have episode, one. and it was like it's made a bit like the Truman Show, where it's like it's done. You turn it off and like, all right, get on with your life, rather than being sucked into this thing. But yeah, it, it's the it's the Pringles of TV, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you can't well, just have yeah. one. That's it. You got to, you got, you got to have the whole tube. I mean, I, it, it's just what it's one of those uh, programs where a lot of that episode was a bit guff. I'll be honest with you. Looking back, all the Petra stuff. Yeah, I, I, I don't care. Right, but but still, the the and that's maybe like we were saying. There's so many of these storylines that you just throw at it, and then some. But I think that's that's why I like a lot of the latter, you know, one fifty episodes because I think a lot more of it was that you know, it did get a bit silly, but also it was it was just ridiculous. I think they kind of maybe by that point had learned to do the the guff to addictive viewing quotient was crazy. Like they kind of sorted it, but then it got cancelled. So what do I you know? What do I know really? But but mate, that's it though. When a show's in, it's like. In its final throes, they there's always they go fuck it. Let's do all the all the mad shit that we weren't yeah. going to do. Cancel, all we've been putting off for like, years, yeah. all that kind of thing. that. That said, we're only in the three hundreds, and they've already got a fucking cult. So <laughs> there's a cult. There's a uh, a drug smuggling niece who decides that the best the best place to stash the drugs is uh, in prison my and just... my prison guard auntie uh, uh, chair. And she's got a rock vile sniffer dog, it seems. And, and also, she's a psycho. <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah, she, unless Jones really kept that, you know, but it didn't. They didn't look like it. Um, yeah, yeah. There was a, and also, the thing is, you've got the stuff with the bomb there, but you've got these other storylines which aren't anywhere near as exciting. So you got the culmination of the of like the cult storyline, and you've got Petra's storyline, whatever that is. But Which, then the, the doctor thing going on there, that's gonna yeah, something's gonna happen there. A bit of controversy, he'll probably lose his job. But then you've got the bomb storyline as well, which is there like the like a thriller all the way through. And 
if you got rid of all the the um, other stories and you just had the no, Bond storyline, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't work quite as well because you wouldn't have the moments oh. where it all suddenly goes high impact. It'd be like watching Twenty Four, yeah, which, which was just one hundred percent adrenaline all the time. And you go, I think you I, can't I, keep I, that I, up. I reckon I reckon that there were long periods of cell block which were not like that. There wasn't, you know, that really was a. It wasn't a bad there, episode to get into. There, there weren't really, I think, because there were so many characters and so many stories, there was always at least one going on that was good. The, yeah. The, the, and think, it also think, means that there was also several going on that weren't good. Yeah. I think there was always, like, some kind of beating, something had happened, some, you know, in... They didn't keep it long for payoffs, but also there was a lot of, of stuff going on where set up different <laughs> things... But, I always yeah. thought that was a that, that was one of the downsides of prison is that sometimes they curtailed these stories too quickly and they, they could have dragged them out for ages, and they just didn't. They'd go, "Well, shall we drag this out for you know another ten episodes?" No, no, we'll sort it out in twenty minutes. It will. I genuinely <laughs> we've, got, think, we've got another story to move on to. I, I genuinely think I'm out of my life now, just from from watching this. I think like I oh, think right. if, no, right, but in if, a good if, way. If I, if I need a quote to go on the new series, that's a, that's, yeah, that's, that's the one. That's the one I'm going to use. Because like, I well, think well, I might no, have fucked my I'm life. Gonna, am I going to go and watch? You, you know, get all these recommendations on things to watch, and I'm you know you watch different things. It's like, well, I might just I, why wouldn't I just go and watch this again? It's just, exactly. Yeah, it's not why like wouldn't, why it's wouldn't, not like wouldn't new telly is going to be better, is it? No, well, definitely not. I I've seen everyone I'm... banging on about the traitors in the last few weeks, and I've just gone, well, why would I rather watch that than this? <laughs> you weren't a fan of I don't I think, yeah, because obviously we, I think we kind of know each other from David Earl's Discord and different things, yeah. don't we? So, but, um, yeah. Well, I try, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, what, I, what, what would, I just started watching for the first time the other day, what was it, Yellowstone? Watch, started watching that. It's all right. That. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It's all right. But, but There's not enough of it. There's well, only, yeah, there's only like twelve episodes a series. First, first series of this, eighty episodes. That's what you call a season it's, one. Eighty episodes. Eighty episodes. Yes. Like this, the, so then t- two week break, eighty episodes. That's the way to do it. I've got to say, when you said the episode we were going to watch, and you said where it was, I thought, oh, I'm going to might struggle here, in terms of. One, uh, but there's some counts in there. Remember, I don't remember a lot of these plot holes. Um, and two things, oh well, you know, but but it's just got me again. It's like I just want to go, I need to know what happens now. It's so, it's, so it's, it's such a Moorish TV show, isn't it? yeah. And that's what we loved. That's that was the thing, you know, we didn't watch much TV, we got out of watching, you know, me and my mates used to sit around, mainly listen to music. Um, I've, I've started trying to get into other TV shows when people are, people have told me how great EastEnders is or Coronation Street is or whatever, and I'll, I'll give them a go and I go, no, this isn't for me. But Prisoner is for me. I think I, I might be able to get Mrs. Mellon's watching this one. I think she might. She might. She, I don't know if she's ever given Prisoner a go, but probably honestly, not. Honestly, I, I reckon it's one of those because um, I remember seeing the first episode Right, and I did, I wouldn't have seen it at the time hmm. because I reckon when I first started watching it, it was like fifty episodes in already. Yeah, yeah. But when I first saw episode one, uh, I remember thinking how much I would have loved the show from episode one, and yeah. I would have just been on board straight away. So uh, it's it's definitely one of those. I think my different. Uh, well, I am going to watch this again. It's been thirty years. Oh come on, so, you're well, not. Thir- you're over so I've got to watch it again. We started a, a rewatch during uh, during lockdown, and we've, we've it, it's been pretty well behaved. It's been like two episodes a week, and so four years in, and, and yeah, we're I only in the, re- we're, we're only in the two hundreds. I don't need to read books. <laughs> I don't need another hobby. Let's you know. I wonder, I wonder how long it's like. Well, some it's people are watching it for the first time. Some of us have seen it before. Some people so how have many, seen how many, and Bobs. How many hours are we talking here? Of 692 content? hours. Well, if you think of it, it's TV hours. So maybe 500 actual hours. Like, a, Is that more than like a, what's the, the, the Grey's Anatomy is always like one that's quoted, isn't it? I mean, like a ridiculous amount of, of viewing time. But this must be more. 
How long is an episode? Episode half an hour? No, no, it's it's a TV hour, so it's like 46, 47 minutes. Is every episode an an hour with, with lads as well? Yeah. Wow. So two of those a week for seven years. So it's a lot. I mean, a bit a conveyor belt, you could say. Yeah. Quizner cell block H. Right. We do have one more thing. I did a quiz yep. at the end of every episode uh, last year, uh, apart from Mark's, because he would have just pointed out where if, if the answers were wrong. And I went, you know. Well, I, I, I reckon I've got no chance on this quiz. because I can't. I know, we'll, we'll see. It's all multiple choice. Okay. I, w- I won't tell you which ones you've got right, but I will tell you your score at the end. Okay. And then at the end of it, someone's <laughs> going to win. Someone's going to have the most points and win a solid goal. Or uh, um, a, a tribute uh, digital clock stroke bomb. Goes off at four o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> it's just set to four o'clock. Permanently. Yeah. Okay. So, r- question one. Who was the first character to be seen getting murdered in the prison? Is it Anne Yates, Bill Jackson, Harry Smith, Sally Lee? I'm going to put some tension music under this when I actually release the episode. I've just realised it was missing that. So I feel like it's a bloke. I don't know why. I feel like I feel like it's a bloke. What were the two blokes' names? Uh, Bill Jackson, Harry Smith. I'm going to go Bill Jackson. Probably wrong. I, 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 I mean, um, okay, which character knew Susie Driscoll prior to her arrival at Wentworth? Was it Joyce, Judy, Meg or Mouse? I think that's Judy. Didn't Judy have rights? Oh, hang on. Joyce... I'm going to go Judy on that. I think Judy knew somebody and then they came in. Um, Who found a gun buried in the prison garden? Was it Daphne, Julie, Rita or Willie? God, it's a total guess. I'm going to go Rita. The answers are always in alphabetical order, by the way, on the grounds that I didn't know how to... Stop that from happening. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What colour was Julie Egbert's cardigan? Green, orange, pink or yellow? I'm going to go Julie. This is the one that's going to be, I was watching when the Barnhurst lot came in or I wasn't watching when the Barnhurst lot came in. Yeah, I can't can't imagine anyone wearing a pink anything in, in cell block. I'm going to go green. It just seems... I, can, I, I can't imagine anyone not wearing like dark blue or it, khaki. It's just the colour palette <laughs> seems green for, for, for cell block. I can't imagine it being any of the yellow or, or, or the other stuff. Okay. Um, the actress playing which character changed overnight? Uh, Helen Smart, Lisa Mullins, Lorna Young or Paddy Lawson? We want to battle the actors changing earlier, coming back. This is an incident you got where Craig, they, they, they changed. No, no, that was that was one actor playing three different three parts. Different things. This is this is the actress changing overnight. I don't remember them doing that, but I'm going to go Lorna because I don't. I don't need them. One in four. Um, <clears throat> how many episodes were there? Between Joan Ferguson arriving and B. Smith leaving. Ooh. It's yeah. just got a number. Oh, no. I was, just, I was going to read them out. You're going to give me a, you know, still multiple choice. I thought it was going to be like nearest one. Well. That'd be quite a good one. I should have had that as a tiebreaker, shouldn't I? Right. Um, 114, 147, 198, or 233. Joan, I think Joan would have come in round about. So you've got to remember, you had theory, didn't you, for quite a while. So, so yeah, so 
this this photo behind me would have been taken during that era. <laughs> so. Yeah, so I think I think Vera must have been in about a hundred years. She must have been in a good few series. I mean, if the first series is eighty episodes, then Vera must have been in at least. Um, um, oh, I reckon I reckon Vera must have been in about two hundred and around that number. And the one thing I do know is that I think I think did the kind of, I don't know whether they coordinated, but I do kind of remember a bit of trivia is that B was in four hundred episodes. It was like her last episode was number four hundred. I think it's something. Or around that. I'm pretty sure it is. So what were they again? I think it, I think it's, <laughs> it's, it's 114, 147, 198, or 233. To be to be fair, you put more thought into these answers than anyone else on any of them. So most of them just go, went. Yeah, because because I'm gonna go one, one. One, one, one nine eight. I think one nine eight. around that. Okay. What was Lorelai Wilkinson's real first name? Was it Darlene, Lurleen, Marlene, or Wolverine? <laughs> uh, Marlene. I don't know. Can't remember that one. <laughs> Which three characters did Alf Stewart play? Okay. <laughs> Got an idea we were, talk- of it. we were talking about this earlier, weren't we? Definitely uh, Craven. Was it Bruce, Brad, and Fred? Jeff, Kurt, and Ernest, Matt, Luke, and Ken, or Stan, Jack, and Blakey? Oh, shit. I don't know his first name. I just know he's called Graven. Um, even, I reckon. Was he called Ernest Craven? That seems to ring a bell. I'm going to go for whichever one said Ernest. I'm going for that. Jeff, Kurt, and Ernest. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's right, but it, it, yeah. What's Rita's brother called? Is it Bongo, Dingo, Mango, or Pingu? Bongo. I think that's right. I think I remember that that era. Didn't he get tied up in the yard as well? That, 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 there's an episode from series one of this called All Bongo, where we just banged out about Bongo for fucking ages. <laughs> I live, a honestly, bit, that, a bit too long. Some would that's say that's my fact, era that I can remember the Rita. If, if, so maybe that's why I couldn't get it. In fact, sure we, that's right. We, we got a uh, we got a review for that episode when we were talking about Bongo, and the person who bothered to go to the trouble of letting me know that they found it tedious. Oh, nice! <laughs> <laughs> they were they found it so tedious they had to let me know. Let's try and beat that tedious. with this one. <laughs> Remember, I never asked for your feedback and I'm no interested in it whatsoever. Um, <laughs> final question. Who moved Vera's radio? Is it Colleen, Fletch, Meg, or we just don't know? It's not going to be. Meg, Meg doesn't do anything apart from bringing notes and moving people on. It could have uh, been, a, it could have been a, a administrative moving of the radio. I suppose so. It was in, Vera was mentioned there. I think we'll be around. No, no. Who who moved Vera's radio? Oh, who moved Vera's? So yeah. So it's Colleen, Fletch, Meg, or we just don't know. Colleen, we go for. Colleen in a in a non uh, saving the world from a bomb days. Yeah, when she was when she was the uh, the new the the new you know yeah the new nasty. Nasty, nasty guard that really wasn't. I think they'd they given up on her being the nasty one by the by the point of the episode we've just seen. Because, oh well, because my Joan, reason, my done because then. Jo, yeah, because Joan had, had showed up, and they just went, we don't need any other really nasty ones now. We need to go as well. <laughs> we, 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 we've, like, we've found our. Na- that's when that's what when Craven came in. It was like God, they've really they've gone to town on this because you already have Joan, and then he came in. He came Dark, in. Right. Dark Who, specs his crossbow and changed that, you know. I, I referred to the uh, thing earlier about all blokes in the show being massive flaps. He was absolutely massive twat. Okay, yeah. With his, with his firing a crossbow <laughs> at prisoners. 
Anyway, you got a pretty shit three out of ten there. Woo! But it's the. I got, did I get drunk? I got, I got Drongo right. I got my uh, my one Rita era question that I remember. Bongo. Bongo Drongo. Drongo Drongo. Uh... Drongo <laughs> should have been one of the other answers, really, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> All right, so um, I was—I said before I wasn't going to ask everyone what their favorite character was because it should be Jane Ferguson. But who's your least favorite character in prison? Oh, least favorite character. Yeah, it, it could I... be just from that episode we've just watched, or it could be Eva, or just someone I... who you just went. I'd be delighted I, to see the back of them. I didn't really like Meg. I'll be honest with you. I it's just been, wasn't. Never goody two shoes, and uh... she just didn't. Really, yeah, it was kind of. I, I, I just don't think that she. For someone who was in it for so long, I can't really. She, you know, she was she did, literally. She I, did a lot of admin, and if anyone became romantically involved with her, something bad happened. <laughs> I just can't remember any plot lines with her with, 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 with much to do with her. Um well maybe you need somebody like that in the in, in the program. I think it's one of those programs where I don't I trying to think of prisoners that I didn't really I can't really think of anybody that stands out that, that I really didn't like. Do you remember right to the end where they had the um the chef called Mervyn Pringle? Oh yeah, I fucking hated him. <laughs> Did he marry go. one of them? Yeah, he married Joyce, the one with the big glasses. Yeah, the yeah, one a bit like Daniel Kitson. Yeah, yeah, he, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I fucking hated him. He, he was a shit character, right? He, he was a shit actor. <laughs> None of his storylines were good. I, I've been. I remember thinking. Um, that this was the point the show was kind of dying when he came in. And you spe- yeah. I think you're supposed to be on his side. But I just remember wanting him to be killed. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just look off him in some way. I don't I, I, I think it's I think the thing is because I've not watched it for so long. I think I probably if I refreshed it with a bit of watching, even just I, doing a few random episodes, I think I, I, I just remembered last time last time I saw it. And he got introduced, and I, thought my, and I went, oh, for fuck's sake, it's him. And I definitely remember, I'm sure when I was watching it, there was plenty of times where I thought, oh, you know, just get rid of this person. You know, yeah, they, 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 you know or... They were or, generally good, though. They were generally good at getting rid of the shit characters quite quickly. Yeah. But for some think, reason, he lasted for ages. Yeah, but I can't... I think if you're asking me, like, on the spot, because of who I can remember now, it'd be Meg, because... You know, a genuinely, you know, Lizzie and, it all the way, as you well. know, B, Dory, you can always remember different things about, them, but maybe it's just, yeah, it's just I there. Remember. She's she, she's essentially part of the furniture, and then like the episode we've just watched is what she kind of did most of the time. It was, just... and uh, she's a part of the furniture and about as animated, yeah. It's like, but 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 I can't remember a single big Meg plot line. Probably was. There, there were, I think there were loads that she was involved in, but well, was, she was always like, she was always that. She was a peripheral a, character, know, part of somebody else's plot line. She's a peripheral character who was a main cast member from all the way through for seven years. She was just, you know, she was, yeah. She and I think the the thing is that with everybody else, I think it was always a bit up and down, and, and there was always a bit more coming people. Yeah, Meg. Like, I, I think they were like. There were a handful of episodes that she doesn't appear in. Really? Um, really, yeah. And I reckon you wouldn't notice any of those episodes. That Do you think that's just when she went on holiday been, or something? Maybe. Or maybe there just wasn't any admin required. But they, um, I reckon you could watch that episode and it would never occur to you that Meg hadn't been in it. No. It's not like when we saw there, we go, oh, it's B and oh, it's Judy. Yeah, and we were wondering where B was because, and then she, that, she just that, was there so often that, you know, that wouldn't I, happen. I, I, yeah, that wouldn't happen with Meg. At no point would you be going. I wonder what Meg's up to. <laughs> no, never. I know what she's doing. She's yeah, she's sorting the post, or she's asking. <laughs> has he gone to find 
John to tell him to John's come get, into this she's room. She's gone to get some paper clips. Well, she's got she's she's been brought in to explain some plot, you know, part of the plot. Um, my, my, yeah. my, my, my favorite thing about Meg is whenever there were visitors, and she would literally stand. It, there'd be a scene going on, and she would just stand at the back of the room, motionless, while the scene played out in front of her. And you could have an extra in doing that role, but for some reason they got one. Of, they got one. <laughs> they got one of the main <laughs> cast members in to do it every it single. Like... Maybe they maybe they maybe it was an accountancy decision, and they just went. Hang on a minute. We're paying her anyway. Extras cost us. We can just get we're, Meg to stand in the background for every single we're, time. We're, this we're, we're paying her anyway. We may as well stick her there. And she's never she's never making governor. I'm telling you this. Well, she she must have made a great living out. Well, I don't know about great living. I don't know about if anyone made a fortune out of sell what for. But the roses here are prisoners too When morning comes around He used to give me roses I wish he could again But that was on the outside And things were different then 